You're listening to Artie Tune, a podcast with artists created and produced by Detlef Schlick, a visual artist and ritual designer, living and loving in West Cork, and best known for his essay about the cause and effect of shamanism, art and digital culture. Working in the field of performance, photography, painting, sound, installations, and film he will dive and discover with us and a weekly creative guest into the unknown and exciting deep ocean of the creative mind. This is Detlef Schlich and today we dive into the unexpected, exciting deep ocean of the creative mind together with my friend Robert Lambert. Uh, I had him already here as as talk as in the last two shows, and he was uh, uh, very much the man who interrogates me in the room 101 and 102. We had him as a person. It was very strange for me, and and uh, I was feeling already. Uh, I was scared of him somehow. Uh, and st so today we will we will we will. No, we will meet uh, another Robert Lambert, and uh, I'm very happy to announce him. Hi, Robert. <laughs> Detlev, today won't be another visit to the dentist for you. <laughs> no, it Today wasn't. we're just going to polish your teeth a little bit there in <laughs> digital terms. Yeah, yeah. Robert, great. I mean, I must say uh, a, a little introduction by myself about Robert, and then, then he can introduce himself as well. Um, I consider you as a person who, who, who has a very eclectic uh, mindset and um, dear listeners, if you, I think he's one of, of uh, the very seldom people who, uh, who, you can talk with him actually about everything, what, what I really appreciate, this, this is great. And uh, but but Robert's uh, very special sp skill as well is is he he's he's a he's a, uh, he's a cyber um, um, detective or whatever how you're gonna call it but maybe it's better so so he just introduced himself what he's gonna doing now and what is his job as well. Ted, if you've been talking me up there, it's very mm. simple. I'm just a technologist, a techie. You're the artist in the room here, and it's going to be in today's session very much let's say technology and art um, interacts or if necessary yeah. collides off each other yeah absolutely you know and and so we have a little structure uh, for the next half an hour ish uh, and uh, yeah it's uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to 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 see the outcome as well what happens with, with our creative brain if we speak about these things um, just let let us dive into this exciting ocean huh Yes, absolutely there. I did prepare a couple of little firecrackers there for you at the start just to yeah. kind of keep things lively. And uh, one of those areas that we've been speaking about all of the long way, you know, out, outside of these uh, interactions and going back uh, how many years that we know each other, yeah. is this big piece of digital culture. This is what uh, Detlef has always been coming out with to me there, digital culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somehow I don't know why. I mean, it's, it is, it's, I'm, I'm already... I'm getting. I'm becoming a nerd. I am probably already a nerd. I mean, I, <laughs> eventually, I, I, I got my my VR glasses now, so I'm I'm diving deeper into this 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 ocean of the digital mind. Now, the digital mind and digital culture. Yeah. All of these things here. What do you actually understand by it, there? For those who don't know what the heck we're babbling on about here, uh, how would you explain it to them? So, so the digital culture, digital culture has 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 um, exponential uh, thing, a, a lot of fields. I mean, um, it is more or less about zeros and ones. It is it is uh, it is actually about a completely different um, understanding of of aesthetics. I would say, it is um, for. Uh, um, as it is already the 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 we, we we can tear apart the digital natives and the uh um and, and the uh analogons actually that that means what i realize through my discovering in in, in digital culture is is i understand why uh neanderthals need uh, the neanderthals uh passed away and uh, and humans over over overtake because we can see that already in our digital culture a little bit how the analogons might maybe 
pass away and, and, and get pushed away by the digital natives. And now, I'm know? going to be a little bit awkward here. Uh, I do know that there is a famous institute in Germany where you come from called the Max Planck Institute. Yeah. And they are doing stuff around the genetics yeah. of the Homo sapiens that you proudly refer to be a member of and those Neanderthals that you think have passed away. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, the Neanderthals, well, there's a bit of them in every one of us still. We are carrying Neanderthal uh, genes I bet already. with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, you don't have to read New Scientist to find that one yeah. out. But here we go. So so, so, so probably there, there will be always, uh, and we become all, as well more digital, not natives, but, but digital, digitalis, homo digitalis, in order that we're going to use this new technology as well. And... Uh, I mean, currently it's still the smartphone, but I am quite convinced that, that in, in, in a couple of years we we gonna work already with with, with our uh, with the interface for 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 our brain. I mean, they're already working on it, and and it is for the good and for the bad. I mean, people learn to 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 see again, blind people. People learn to to hear again as well. You know. Well, that's true. There are many of these things that are benefits, whether they're actually in the pure there is a mechanical benefit to somebody as opposed to a kind of a different way of looking at things. I always think, when I'm thinking about digital, yeah. the first experience, apart from that, ver yeah, being that very first generation, yeah. uh, literally coming out of school uh, all those years ago, where we actually were exposed uh, to these things called computers. We were learning a bit of programming at the time. Yeah. And then there was this other uh, invention at the time, called the CD, which was a big, big departure from that old paradigm of the vinyl record, which absolutely is made in yeah. yeah, so we we had these analog things before that of the the vinyl things, and then all of a sudden the CD appeared, and <clears throat> I remember how many people were completely uh, upset and annoyed that that they had to listen now to CDs because it was already so clear, crystal clear. Uh, if you distinguished it with with, with the, the vinyl, the vinyl was still warm, and, and, and so we had already the cold against the warm, isn't it? That's right. And then you, later on, obviously, we had a move on towards the beginnings of the internet, as we know it. And then is, do we say, well, as a cultural thing, did it start uh, at the, really at the internet? Did it start with the CD? Where did it all start? Uh, was it the tools that we used to actually make media, or was it when we actually took all of that media and really it expanded uncontrollably everywhere you know I mean, I mean i mean okay we we can we can we can see that from from different angles i mean we could say okay since since as as Turin explored his his, his machine there it started but i am so there i say it started already as as we became our consciousness that that we were predicted to to go this direction i mean at the moment when 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 we started as humans to to uh to uh, realize that 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 we're able to to code, for instance, that to use symbols like 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 the shadow of an eagle and making fonts out of it, that was somehow the beginning of of, of getting into code. And and imagine, I mean, see the later time as as we started to in inventing fonts and uh, uh, as we started to 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 learning the, the reading, where the philosophers from from the old antique philosophers they start to scream, no. Don't read. Don't use this technology because we lose our our um, our analog culture, our, our our oral culture. You know. Or was it that they were simply losing the control over the rest of us? Yeah. Or was it that? So, so actually, that is somehow we can we can we can really. It's, it's a very good comment. We can really somehow uh, uh, compare with, with 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 the discussions nowadays as well. You know. So so. I think more that 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 we humans. I mean, it is, it is sad somehow. It is sad that 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 we 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 humans. I don't, I don't know if if, it, if it's really sad. I mean, I think a lot of the humans they they have that that's the fear of the unknown, and the uh, te technophobic, you know, so the fear of technology. Um, like what you hear so far. Make sure you never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button now. This podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for your support. Now back to the show. That's, that makes them, them uh, 
cry and shout, no, 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 we can't go this direction, you know, so we, we can't go into the digital culture. It is understandable, I must say, because it is, I, I like to sit at the fire and, and to play songs and all that, you know, on my guitar. I love it. And um, what, but what I understand as well is that it's still part of our evolution. You know? And that's what I mean already. When are we going to go back to good? To but then isn't there so a question here? What you're really saying is that the music or the images or whatever, maybe, you know, it's created on a guitar by the far side, as you said, or there's a canvas that actually has to be painted. Maybe it's a pen and a paper. But then we are merely transcribing it into a digital media, maybe shaping it around, doing other things with it, maybe capturing it, dubbing it, overdubbing it, and all of that yeah. type of stuff. There is that not really, you know, where is the, the difference? Because at the end of the day, if there's a guitar, now I know there's probably some synthesizer where you could go and create that guitar, but most musicians I know still pull the guitar out and say, well, this is the most creative way for me to create the song. But of course, I'll use the digital tools to capture, record, and broadcast yeah. it. Yeah. So, where, you know, again, it goes back to the question are we over erasing it? That we are simply saying, well, look, the digital is just an arena with certain type of additional things, but underneath it all, we still have that Neanderthal DNA, as I said earlier. Yeah, you see, and and there, there, uh, I'm worrying a, a little bit that that we really come into a different uh, state of mind, consciousness, and as well, and 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 because. Um, I mean, we can already see it's also, also, so changing analog into digitali digital uh, digitality or whatever, or digitalism or how, how we're going to call it, uh, maybe as well, means um, there is um, an, a digital uh, availability. Uh, as you know, so so as, as we, we had in, in, in our analog times, um, the, the 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 tapes and if if you if you recorded the tape you 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 the quality was getting lost you know so so the the, av the availability of uh, archiving things was getting lost after a certain process well that's know? the old c90 tape isn't it back yeah. in the days yeah. when we had actually had vinyl albums where yeah. you could stick an album yeah. in neatly on each side of the c90s we all did that in our school days yeah. they broke the copyright recording laws well digital one of the big things about it is that you can copy yourself many times over. Somebody That's doesn't have to be sitting in the room beside you, bef uh, beside the fireside while you're strumming your guitar. You're pushing that out. Now, whether all the other people out there really want to hear you or not becomes in the question <laughs> there, you know. And Absolutely. let's also understand it. At what point did that whole piece really start? There is a business really where you could actually record capture something and push it out there to people and it didn't cost you a lot of money time or, or intelligence to do that in fact we kind of rue the fact that there are people who probably lacked intelligence but still were able to put their their <laughs> own sound out there not that we wanted to hear it or anything like that yeah. and maybe that's the the, but we the have that, in the, that we we're we, actually we, dealing with here. We have that in the analog world as well, don't we? When, when, when <laughs> I think it took a bit more money and effort to do that. You know, yeah. we didn't have many kids going off and pressing their own vinyl records, <laughs> did we? Now, no, actually not. That's true. But uh, having, having said that, the thing is really, I mean, we we, we can speak actually as well about the uh, de democratization of 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 uh, of the of the process of being creative you know so i mean now nowadays everyone is not everyone but but if if you if you don't have the fear towards towards this technology you 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 really are able to be your own uh, um, agent your own uh, production company and 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 can be you you have to be careful like myself as well that you're not getting burned out because that's that takes a lot of that involves a lot of uh, understanding of these processes you know it's not just just being creative it's as well uh, how you how you spread your 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 piece of art i mean i mean it seems uh, is it just visual art or a song or on or, or, and then we or can, noise or, or the art of noise yes you know yeah so then, then, then but then we're gonna go speak again about promotion you know and and um well i suppose the other part of this here that always fascinates me is that how far we 
we've been having this conversation about this as being a new media, but in a sense, it's been going on for nearly 30 years now. Now, yeah. there are different phases of it, I suppose. As goes, you say, where long, do you yeah. think it all actually started? Where, you know, where are we generationally in it? Because I don't think we're in the first generation no. of digital. I think we're going, you know, already clearly through the second and possibly going into the third. Um, okay. I mean, we can... I think I think we can distinguish that again between uh, linear and and um, being non-linear, you know. And um, if you think back to, to the lin linearity, which which was actually the reading of 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 sentences, so you just can understand the sentence if you if you read the sentence in a, on a linear way, you know. Uh, but after uh, uh, in, the, in the last two thousand years, happened a lot. So we we, we became. Um, we 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 got a, a lot of unlinear models like 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 uh, like TV and 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 you know so, so, so we we had a, a lot of unlinear islands and we this unlinear islands we had as well before linearity starts to to exist and that was for, for instance in shamanism that means if we come back to the old rituals we were able to 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 deal with nature on a completely different way on on, on an on an unlinear linear way you know before th that was that that was a completely at this time different different way like like we use unlinearity nowadays if you if you take links you can come with a link from 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 here to there and do, 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 do. but as well if if you have a newspaper you 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 can read this article and that article and those article you know so so uh, so we humans we were i think we were in the in the, in the 20th century maybe already earlier we we were getting over overwhelmed with with this unlinearity, and we were looking actually for 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 tools who who uh, which could help us to to overcome this 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 oversaturation, this struggling, you know. And I think really that that's the reason why we come now in into into this digital revolution somehow. This is well, it's an interesting angle there because we are actually now moving aside from the actual digital media to really saying, well, what is it that you're putting into digital media? Just as when Gutenberg started printing books, for what instance, were, which what were being printed, in those and books. don't forget that 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 as books became uh, 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 the the uh, democratization of 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 knowledge, you know, our minds, our our brain, our consciousness changed a lot in the last 400 years or whatever you know so that's that's or 500 years which is which is uh, unbelievable plus um if you go back for instance uh, to to um, um, it, um it was uh, bc as well 200 300 when 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 they, when they start to to discover our 3d world you know i think the the, the uh, paragales they're the x uh, y and Z axis, you know. Um, we humans, we we didn't know about that. And as soon as as these philosophers explained it to human beings, our our knowledge and uh, and our our understanding of the world completely changed, you know. So where we are now is we we have not just the three dimensional ideas. We we already we almost we 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 become a, a, the next the fourth dimension to uh, for 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 as well plus. Don't forget. I mean, I just I just uh, uh, explored now virtual reality since a couple of days, and uh, I had a couple of sessions the last nights in it. You know, just <laughs> he's become uh, folks totally lost <laughs> within it there from the conversation that I had with him yesterday <laughs> evening there. <laughs> I don't know if he actually knows that he's in a real room here or not, or somewhere inside Mark Zuckerberg's meta or whatever <laughs> prototype of it that's going on at the moment. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it is. There, there are a lot of things to to explore and to understand. I would say, you know, and what the but it is still very, very, very necessary to keep the social political discourse going. You know, because this is an area which is for, for, for a lot of us people completely new. And we know that human beings, they are, they are uh, lazy somehow. They, 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 they are homo consumers. Uh, uh, 
it's not the, 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 the they are not the, the communisms they are the consumisms so uh, so uh, so a discourse is necessary for sure it leads you know? us into another conversation here because when we talk about the digital age and especially the uh, digital age but a lot of people talk about at the present time we're also uh, in many people's minds talking about an age of uncertainty and then the traditional narrative around that is that oh well that always happens with a new technology it, mm. uh, it basically tears yeah. everything apart and we have to reconstruct it back together in some other way and figure out how we go forward oh, with yes. it and then we have the resistors the progressives and then also the whole debate about well can we let this thing just simply happen as it is in an ungoverned manner or not that's mm. yeah that's that's where we're at mm. but you see yeah. i think uh, you know Okay, and media can certainly change things, just as the printing of books did. Digital media certainly has allowed ideas to be captured, recorded, and distributed on a more widespread basis. Mm -hmm. However, the uh, other thing I also think is that when people come along with new things and new ideas, it's not just because of the media itself. The media is simply maybe giving them the opportunity. The media is a message, yes. Yes, yeah. and then there's also the fact that, well, before that media even arrived, things were not really in the so great a shape as we thought. We've lived in the 20th century, where following the Second World War, mm. we basically reconstructed Europe, the world, and various other things. Well, mm. that's what we like to believe. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We had a society, we spoke about democracy, We've been through the various ups and downs and that. Um, we have even took it up to 1989, collapse of communism. And for a while, mm. the Western world, especially America, thought, well, our paradigm is the only one in town. Mm. And now it's suddenly it's all starting to come asunder. We've had you know, all of these things going on. And then we have the media, mm. which even more noise, more disparate things actually happening. And maybe that's the angst that's in all of this at the moment. Sure. Sure. Yeah, we have this age of uncertainty. What do you think about it? You know, like I, I have, a, I have my own views uh, about yeah. the age of uncertainty, and I think there is, in a sense, well, you know, we have had a the same paradigm going for a long time, and maybe we do need to go back and look at a few things and look mm. at them differently, and then an awful lot of that noise, digital protest, all of the other stuff out there is mm. actually saying that. So let's not shoot the messenger here. Yeah, no, no, not at all, not at all, no. No, I mean, I think um, you see, I, I'm not, I'm not believing so much in censorship, you know, because I, um, because my understanding of censorship is as soon as as we 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 come too much into censorship, you see, oh, you hear too much, we're gonna fall into the state of 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 Talibanism or or, or fundamentalism or whatever, you know, sooner or later, you know, which is for me as well at least uh, on the same way dangerous so 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 i can just just uh say it again and again and again people we need a social social uh social political discourse all the time ongoing you know and um for me um saying i mean sometimes i'm if i'm in my bad i'm i'm sometimes as well overwhelmed from technology you know i'm and i'm overusing it sometimes too for sure you know and um and then, i mean thankfully i'm surrounded here by beautiful nature so so i still can can just look out the window and and i'm and i'm surrounded by nettles and 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 other green uh, there's lots of them there <laughs> yeah lots here yeah uh but then having said that i i i think about my 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 city fellows you know that means people who who live in in uh, in, in cities and 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 they don't have this luxury to be surrounded like by by a beautiful nature like this because they 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 have to work and uh, and if if we if we look back to people who who were working in the coal mine that were that used to be the people who who, who created the energy for us that, that that we had it warm you know nobody's speaking about them they 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 are suffering now from 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 from, from lung embolia and there are the people now in 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 times like 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 COVID, they they are really uh, um, there are the people uh, who have to take where well, we have to take now care for as well, you know. But I think whether we like it or not, given that there are certain people who've maybe not been as well behaved 
as they should be with the media, that they are purposely using uh, digital capabilities for what are not necessarily creative purposes, but for much sharper, yeah, um, nastier controlling purposes over their fellow human yeah. beings. We have a situation. Definitely, we have to protect our younger uh, people. Yeah. Uh, now, the question after that is how far we go. Yeah. The, there are people also who out, say, out there would say, oh, but I'm, I'm a sensitive soul and I'm getting offended by everything that I'm seeing around them. Yeah. Now, we can't, I believe, go down the route and simply say, look, can we cover every one of those possibilities? Because mm -hmm. you are into mass censorship. And yeah. that's the thing. The other thing I would say, what differentiates this culture from what went before is that we tended to have what I call a mass broadcast culture. Think television here. Folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now what we actually have is a segmentation of the different channels and that you can go off and get the particular parts of it. Yeah. Uh, and that, that's the piece. Now, should we actually, you know, be looking at it from a point of view and saying, well, OK, you're advised to keep your kids away from this. You're advised if you're going to be upset to stay away from that and actually do certain things. Yeah. The only other remaining problem that I keep reading about is that people put things out there which they pretend to be, to be facts when in fact they're not facts. And then how do we actually deal with that there? Because there is a definite effect. Uh, think Fox News in America where they had some of their broadcasters actually re resign from it because... There are people in there who are clearly influencing a, a viewpoint and even as sure, broadcasters sure. they felt. But, so but, yeah. I'm challenged here. You know, have you I any know, ideas? How do we go? How do I we know. deal with that? You know, uh, because we don't want a situation here that all the art, the other good stuff becomes stifled yeah. um, to a paradigm of censorship. Yeah. Yeah. I mean I must I must say uh ideally it it would be nice if people would could put a little bit more more uh, um, moralism in, into their, their their behavior, you know. But that's that's not the case. I mean, the human beings are they are carved out of uh, cracked wood, you know, of broken timber, you know. So so I think um, if it comes to I mean, I mean we we rumors uh, uh, um, um, fakes. They they exist already as well since since the antique you know, and uh, you had all, always people who, who who manipulated and create a, a, an alliance via manipulation in order to to. I agree, I I think you're right in saying that even in the printed media or even if we think about mass uh, media, go back to the 1930s uh, where Germany yeah, they used sure. film. And yeah. people like Goebbels and Hitler and these people use it very effectively before other politicians learn to do so. So the question really here is that do we then actually say, well, OK, we have to have a, a way of actually understanding that it is going to go through this. We have to then educate ourselves and people that's and say a, that, that's a good point. there is always going to be charges yeah. out there well, that's a good point I'm, i mean i mean that means that means digital education means as well that people have to learn to uh to to research more on their own instead of believing everything what's what's on social media you know but there we're gonna go, come again people are lazy and people love it just to consume i mean the the, the consumerism of 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 materialism of materials from in the 20th century changed actually now in, into the consumerism of data you know due to the fact due to the fact that that um um uh, information creates endorphin i mean we all know that so so if if, if we have a if we have a mo moment where, where, where and this moment is completely dif different for anyone else you know uh if we have a moment when we're gonna feel oh wow this is I like that. This this is this brings me somehow somehow new. Some people have this moment when they watch a soap. Some some people have this moment when they when they become a rumor because and and then they and then they grow up in this rumor and 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 become become lively, you know. So, well, there's no doubt about it that digital, uh, you know, there is you know, the whole business of it being the whole basis of new products. That we consume you know it's almost in a sense we've started with the bread and the butter and all of the other things yeah. and then the other bits and bobs that we have in our rooms around us 
the furnishing, the, uh, the furniture itself. We can only consume so many of those things. And anyway, it's probably best that we don't consume any more of those things because at the end of the day, uh, there's only as much of uh, the materials on the planet. What and what happens then if if we if we stop consuming with 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 our, with our ec uh, economical uh, uh, way? You know, I mean, I'm 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 myself. I'm 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 I don't I'm actually an anti-materialist. So, but but. Um, Well, I've got a bit of disturbing news for you. What? The disturbing news is that even this digital media that yeah. we're doing stuff on, there is a, all of the energy and all the infrastructure to keep it going, to spread all that information around. So yeah. in, a, in a way, even the digital media is not totally free or divorced of the material world. Not at all. I mean, I, and I know that. I mean, we, we have we have most... I mean, Silicon Valley is... is they are the... the The biggest uh, uh, consumerist all over, you know. I mean, that's 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 for sure. I and mean, here and here in Ireland, well, we are actually having conversations about how much energy is needed to keep those data centers the, running. The carbon prints, prints yeah. in, in 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 server server centers, they are they are huge, you know. So, but I I wonder I wonder. So and and there we're gonna go again. So if if data is the new gold rush, you know. So how how long? How long? I mean, and and if if artificial intelligence is is able maybe in a, in a couple of years to 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 do the jobs for the human beings, a the question is what 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 are the humans gonna do because they 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 not just can sit at home and and doing nothing. Okay, they they learned it now a little bit with with, with COVID with our with our pandemic, you know, but uh, so so society has to be reformed completely, you know, at least in the next 20, 30 years, you know. I mean, what, what, what happens later? I don't know. So, I mean, my... my well, that's, that's, that's a scary uh, thought there. Society has to be reformed, or is it that society probably will change or be reformed? You know, let's be careful, uh, because there are those uh, who say, oh, we must change it. No, no, I say it has to be yeah. reformed uh, with, with, with socio-political discourse. I mean, um, so I'm a Democrat, and, and I'm always... No, yeah, <laughs> yes, you was getting scared. I no. was getting a bit worried there for a second, folks. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I mean, I mean, that, that's the same. So we have to talk about that all the time. I mean, the democracy is is a very exhausting process. I mean, we we see it now with with all these conspiracy theories and 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 uh, and I mean, I'm I'm often so. I'm getting so sick about all this discourse that I, that I don't want to know about that anymore. But I'm probably not the only one. Well, know? I've just switched it off altogether. Yeah, that's yeah. that's my view of it. I've gone out and taken a view. Well, there is that night, like last night, where there's a book on the shelf. I'll take the book off the shelf. Thank you. There. Yeah. Uh, other times, it's a very much a case. Well, I'll decide what I'm going to tune into and what I'm listening to. Now, you could, of course, argue that I've already had my own bias. And yeah. then I have a bias towards going towards certain things that will reinforce my bias. Yeah. And th and that's possibly where it is all going. Is that not the case? And then I'm joining a part of a digital tribe or whatever, which happen to believe in certain types of things. You yeah. and I might be a part uh, of a tri a dig the same digital tribe of sorts or whatever. And then there's other people in their own digital tribes. There, yeah. so we're, we're that's is that where we're going with digital at the minute, you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, yes, as as I think, I think we we are we are currently in in the middle of something what we still don't really understand, um, and maybe that that will be in the next 10, 20 years. But it, I think it's more for for our generation, as like I say, the digital natives, they're gonna deal with things like this completely on a different way. For them, things like that uh, is not an issue anymore. And, and, and they... Well, I, I think looking at, uh, certainly with younger people, that, okay, they may be proficient in the actual application and use of a technology, mm. But I actually think that the the uncertainty is for them an even greater one at the present time, that they don't they they're even more lost in some respects than we yes. are. That that's my impression of it. Yeah, know? but then then here we go again. So, so it is like 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 the beat of of a butterfly, you know. So it 
it depends what which technology what is the next big thing you know and and all that can change a lot again as well so so it's quite difficult to to pr predict things you know i mean like my 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 visionary utopian uh, um prediction in 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 years is that that we humans we change into in, into hybrids you know i mean that that will happen you know Yes, so we might become cyborgs or something like that. Well, I don't know about that one there. Personally, I think what we have to do is something possibly more simple. And that's decide what we want to be and how we want to be. And that along the way, we use all of the other things as appropriate. And just be mindful of the fact that we've got one Earth while we're at it here. Yeah, sure. But but I mean, we're, we're surrounded with, with, with more than, than just just the, the planet Earth, you know. I mean, the universe is, is is huge, you know, and and here we go again, you know. I mean, I think human beings, they this the, 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 the arrogance that, that we are the only species who who, who know uh, how to how to to use technology. I think this is uh, wishful thinking, you know, it is. Uh, well, I don't know if we actually fully know how to use technology. Yeah, no, I, I, I think I we know how yeah, yeah. to make technology do certain things yeah, for us. Yeah, yeah, sure. And, and that's that, no, there's absolutely. a difference there, you know. I, I would say so I agree completely with that, you know. So I, I think we, um, but we, and then we're gonna go back just just to to the beginning of of the as we understood what is three dimensional, you know. So or now what we understood is the virtual reality. If if we if we if we are in it, it's a completely new medium, you know. We're just exploring that, you know. And and if if this go goes further on and and becomes like what Zuckerberg wants, the the meta universe, which is actually not just Zuckerberg. I mean, the Korean, the South Korean, they are already working on that as well, you know. Like like the Chinese have the, the smart cities and then and so there is a. There, there are a lot of things that are going on, you know. So, and 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 uh, that will change as well society too. Again, you know. I think so, but I also going back to the earlier part of our conversation here, and it's not just a guitar uh, in somebody's hand beside the fireplace or the fireside, or for that matter, the canvas that you're going to put a bit of paint on or throw paint onto it or whatever. The end of it all as i see it is that you actually have to have some kind of creative vision otherwise yeah yeah, yeah. and you know the point is whether you put the paint on the canvas and then you scan it and then put it in the media or you make some 3d form of it for or instance, whatever for, or yeah. you create it directly in the digital media yeah all of it tells me you actually have to have some coherent digital creativity or whatever yeah, there, as, as think, you can relate as, to your I fellow human beings. I would say actually uh, that's maybe a good point for the end so that 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 uh, we we could we could finish this discussion for today with this thing that that uh, as I mean having a creative vision and and using creativity as as a tool uh, or regarding to 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 um to explore new ideas as well it's always helpful no matter is it you know digital or, or analog or what you know and and we should we should more we should try to 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 see it from from the bright side of life and then i have to stress it out again you know, including the social political discourse you know absolutely so, and on that robert and I, I thank you very much it was a great talk for today I have I have like always uh, um, stress out again as well that 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 this podcast is a listener supported podcast and uh, you you guys I mean normally I had a lot of lot of musicians and all that in the last podcast which I support as well with links I don't have a link from Robert I can't so, so I can't support him with with, with any link but. Uh, you guys, if Robert is well supported in his daytime <laughs> job, so he's fine there. So don't worry that there's a poor starving artist. As I said earlier on this interview, I'm a technologist, not a starving <laughs> artist. Yeah. So um, you can you can support the podcast and you can follow. Um, actually, my and now we're gonna come into first of all, first of all, Robert is as well now in the Hall of Attitude. Hall of Attitude. So. You can you can get the special Robert 
Robert, Robert Lambert's Lambert Hall of Lambert Attitude Max. I, I made, I, I managed it already to create three Max. I'm not having them here, but but you can see them now here on the screen. Actually, next week is it on YouTube, so have a have a look into that. Then you can go to to into my merchandising hell, merchandising hell. and there you can get artwork like this, like. Max, I have here, which which I made, and this is actually this is this is, so you can get actually so so the soul of an artist for 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 a very cheap price. So I would say, you know, I mean, there here we're gonna go uh, again to to digital shamanism, you know. So I create these things offline, um, transform it into the online world, and and you people can can transform it back if if you go to www.attitude.com into the offline world. So, actually, yeah, it wasn't the right way. Yes, so so yeah, so we can do that. Caps, hey, t-shirt, and <laughs> Robert. I, I I show Robert. Look here, Robert. <laughs> I saw them earlier. <laughs> I got my my leggings now, and uh, I'm thinking I'm wearing them when I'm gonna go to the airport. Hopefully next week. <laughs> They're not going to let him onto the plane, folks. And plus, I created this 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 bag. This is my first design bag. Now, uh, um, I'm gonna take that as well to the airport and uh, do a little bit um, offline promotion. Then, yes. So that should be interesting, <laughs> guys. You can you can find everything on Instagram at that schlich or the Instagram at attitude or instagram at i love westcock artists if you guys want to join the i love westcock artist group on facebook you're more than welcome uh, because uh, i'm working for the uh, uh, westcock development center and uh, administrating this page uh, and i would looking forward um, to become more members as well because we share their artwork and and we share it digitally we share analog work digitally and Try to keep the discourse going, to be creative, yes? Yeah, Robert. I thank you very much. Thanks, everyone. Have a lovely day, dear listeners. You have a lovely day, too. And I hope we see you soon. Oh, next week we have the Christmas edition. And I'm going to go in and singing uh, Christmas songs with Matt Diener. Uh, I mean, it might be more a little bit more fun than, than, than really very serious, but I'm looking forward for that. So take care, guys. Bye. Bye bye. You have listened to Artitude, West Cork's first art, fashion, and design podcast. Artitude, never so close again. Ah. That was too close.